I'm Elodia gebra -Keaton. I'm one of the colorectal surgeons with Johns Hopkins Medicine, and I practice at Howard County General Hospital and at our Bayview location as well. So in order to prepare for a colonoscopy, the, the main goal behind that is really cleansing the colon. We want the colon to be completely free of any stool or any debris so that we can see polyps as small as five millimeters before they have a chance to turn into a cancer and remove them. Uh, the way that we ask patients to do that is to drink a solution. Um, different types of solutions that different doctors use, but essentially it's some sort of liquid solution that's gonna clear you out and make you go to the bathroom so that there's really nothing left in your colon when you have your colonoscopy. So the procedure itself entails um, essentially a, a small camera that we insert through the rectum and we snake it kind of all the way up around the colon to look at the different surfaces of the colon. That goes all the way over to the end of the colon. And then as we make our way back, we look for things like polyps, any irregularities that we biopsy or remove. Uh, and then those results go to a pathologist that looks at them and tells us what those polyps are, specifically if there's any type of cancer involved in them or precancerous changes. Um, most patients for colonoscopy are gonna get a sedation, so that's a big point of fear, but it's not to be worried about. Um, we no longer really do these procedures awake. Uh, so patients are comfortable, they're asleep, they don't re remember anything about it, and there's no pain involved. And so afterwards, um, depending upon what we found during the colonoscopy, let's say we found nothing, there were no polyps, and they're an average risk patient, then every 10 years they're going to repeat that colonoscopy to make sure that we're keeping on track of the surveillance. If there's any polyps found, or if they are an individual that's high risk, meaning they have a family history of colon cancer, then that screening interval gets shortened to anywhere from five to three years.